where of course the neck behind him in second place and it's so you think of won the Coral Eclipse. What a tremendous performance, a really marvellous performance by the Derby winner Mill Reed. Running up towards the line, Alamanimo it is, as the most Alamanimo wins the Eclipse coach. Opera House is going to lift the Coral Eclipse, Miss Hill rallies close home, Opera House of Miss Hill, a photo Opera House of Miss Hill. Thanks folks home in Stoke Contest and Hawkwing wins the Eclipse. My Coral Eclipse memory comes from the last dual winner of the race, who was Halling. I'm going to pick out the 96 uh, event that he won as uh, my particular favourite. But Halling went from being what was a fairly ordinary handicapper, after all he won his first handicap at Ripon off a mark of 75, uh, through winning the Cambridgeshire and then on to winning his first Coral Eclipse, where he beat a horse called Singspiel in that, that year, battling on in typical fashion, having made all. Um, after that, he went out to the desert to, to run against uh, the incomparable Cigar. He was beaten on that occasion, but he soon bounced back to win his second Coral Eclipse back in 1996. On that occasion, he battled on well in, in fine style, making all once again. First of all, he battled off Penn Tire and then saw off the challenge of Bijou Dond right at the end of the race to win by a neck. In fact, he won both his Coral Eclipses by just a neck. Of course, the only time he was beaten on turf, apart from his three maiden wins, was in his last ever race, which was by Bosra Sham in the Champion Stakes. In all, he won five Group 1 races, two of which, of course, were the Coral Eclipse, and he is the last dual winner of the race. Sit back, settle back, and watch the 1996 running again with Halling battling on to beat Bijou Dond in a thrilling finish. And they kick away. Treasure indeed. There are six Group 1 winners here, but where is the pace coming from? And early on, it's Bijou Dunn and Halling. And Halling, he goes from the front, comes from behind. He's doing the work made all last year. Why not this? Halling leads. Bijou Dunn second. Definite article sitting third. Valinor four. Beecham King then Pentar. And Ella Aristocrati is the back marker. Halling leading then, stretching out in good style. A length and a half to the good over Bijou Dunn. Half a length back to Definite Article. A length back to Beecham King. And then uh, Valinor followed by Pentar, who has to be played. Late covered up is on the far side of the grey, and Ella Aristocrati is the back marker. There are about five lengths between first and last as they go to the first half mile in this coral eclipse, and it's Halling under John Reed who leads. Definite article the inside of Bijou Dern. Then the orange colours on the outside, that's Beecham King. The green is Valinor, and the back marker is Ella Aristocrati. Bijou Dern is uh, sitting just off the pace. Halling leading then as they begin the turn out of the back straight. Halling it is by a length, length and a half to Bijou Dan, who's sitting up on the outside of definite article second and third. A line of three, Valinor, the middle of the Grey Beecham King. Pentire runs the rail and then Ala Aristocrati. They start the turn for home. And it's uh, Halling, John Reed taking them wide. Definite article on the inside, the horse with the noseband. Red sleeves is Bijou Dun. Yellow sleeves, Pentai getting closer. The green jacket, Valinor. Ella Aristocrati is still towards the back. Come down the home straight, just over three to go. The Coral Eclipse and the blue jacket, Halling, in the lead. Definite article in second. Look on the left. There's the favourite, Pentai, with a run. Red sleeves, Bijou Dun. Valinor covered up. The grey Beecham King uh, starts to unleash a run. Any of them could win. Just over two to go. They've got to get past the one in front. That's Halling going as well as any definite article look to the left Pentai creeping closer under Michael Hills Bijou Dunn's putting in a finish Valinor can find no more then Beecham King but it's Halling who has the edge they come down towards the final furlong Halling back on turf and doesn't he love it it's Halling in the lead Bijou Dunn what a terrier he's coming back at him in unknown territory Halling Bijou Dunn Pentai as he reaches up towards the line Halling pulls out more oh a good horse Halling Bijou Dunn Pentai